In this video, I will show you how you can get much more control over your objects while still keeping the rigid body physics settings. As always, it's going to be a quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so in order to control the object, we need one passive object and then one active object. So press Shift D to duplicate the cube, then press Control 4 to add four subdivisions to the second cube. And then let's apply the modifier. And then we can press tab for edit mode. And I'm going to press shift alt S then one to make it a perfect sphere and then tab to go back to object mode. And then we can add some smooth shading as well. And then S to scale. And then we're going to add some active physics to the object that we want to control. So let's set it to active and then the shape to uh, sphere because this is of course a sphere. And then I'm also going to increase the friction and under dynamics, I'm going to set the damping translation to 0.35 and then the damping rotation to 0.6, which I think looks more natural than the default settings. Okay, and then let's select the uh, cube. And this is just going to be a passive object that we need so that when we hold in shift and select the sphere, we can connect them and from that get a rigid body constraint which allows us to control the sphere while the sphere still has the active physics. Now let's uh, save before we continue. So we we'll go to file, save as and give it a name. We can save it wherever we want on the computer and then enter to save. Then select the rigid body constraint and turn it into a motor. And then we're going to uh, set the angular target velocity to six and the max impulse to 18 so that it moves on its own. And then we can add a plane. So let's uh, press shift A, add a plane and then press S to scale. Okay. And then we need to add some passive rigid body physics to the plane so that the object can fall down on the plane. Then set the collision type to mesh and the friction to one. And as you can see, the sphere is rolling on its own using the motor constraints. Okay, and then next we can press tab for edit mode for the plane, then go to edge selection, then pad three for side view, and then press E to extrude. And then we can go back to object mode by pressing tab. And when we play the animation once again in object mode, you can see that the uh, sphere rolls on its own. And then if you want to add materials, you should check out my PBR texturing tutorial with all free textures. And it's very quick and easy to set up. And this was my result after adding some uh, textures. And then we can go back to the previous file and I'll show you how to control the sphere. So you can turn it back and forth. You can also rotate the constraint so that it goes in different directions. And then if you want to change the target velocity along the way, you can just press I to keyframe, move a few frames and then change the value. I to keyframe, as you can see, it goes forward and then backwards. 